Good afternoon. Today is the 16th of April and this is the classic gathering at uh, Brooklands that was postponed from New Year's Day. So this is a Saturday and uh, there are a lot of cars here today. This is part, part three of a slightly shambolic shuffle. We call it the shambolic shuffle because we get things wrong, we get our words in the wrong order, we mumble, uh, we might trip over things and we might get interrupted by music and announcements. I'm afraid that's just the way it goes on this channel. So we'll start off right next to where we left off in part two. This is a Rover P6. It's a 69 to 70. Three and a half litre or 3500 V8. Also known as a P6B. So a pre-facelift one of these. I have actually done a review of uh, one of these on my channel. It's a 2000 though, not a 3500. Automatic. This is an auto, but it's uh, the big V8 engine. I very much like this colour and of course it's got a nice beige interior. Well, whether that's leather or not, I don't know. Ooh, an E-Type. Yes, please. This looks similar to the one that I filmed um, for Tweed Jacket Reviews in 2020. Uh, there is a uh, Yes, if you just look for that on Trudeck with these, uh, E-Type 4.2 2 plus 2. This is not a 2 plus 2 because there's no rear seats. So this is a little bit shorter, but it looks very similar anyway. I did enjoy driving that, uh, along with, with Mr. Richardson from the Viewers Driving Channel. 1980 to 81, Porsche 924. This is, looks like a Le Mans Special Edition. I've done a walk around on one of these cars actually, a sort of fuller one, so you won't spend too much time sort of doing this, but it does look pretty special. Mark II Golf GTI, this is just immediately prior to the sort of big bumper model, so it's an 89 or 90 on a G. Another Rover P5B, we saw one of these earlier on. This is the coupe version, it's a very late one, very, very, very production in 73. So it's an L7273 plate, so quite a late one. This is the coupe version uh, by the um, sort of styling of this rear roof. There was also a saloon available. I think the, 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 the first one before was actually a saloon. Gosh, it's just all mixed in at this section here. What is this? Big. It's a voxel actually with those bonnet flutes. Don't know what type of voxel that is, but uh, there it is. A little Austin 7. Morris 8. Uh, Pre war one, I think. I think the later type of Morris 8 had a different uh, bonnet arrangement. So this will be 30s. Ford Console Capri with a Lotus engine. Did they make a, a Console Capri? But the, the Lotus engine is standard. I don't think they did. Just a piece of kind of conversion there. So I think they made them 61 to 64. So I don't know what exactly what year this is. But that could be the original plate, I'm not sure. Nice four door Cortina Deluxe here. I don't think this is the um, facelifted one quite yet. Or it might be. I expect to see bigger vents at the back. But yeah, this is the uh, it's a 64, so it's a console in the front, so I think it's a pre-facelift. Although it has got a um, fleet registration from Essex, so it might have been owned by Ford Motor Company originally. I don't know what this is, a, a Cougar, sort of, I don't know, old looking, but probably more modern sports car. I don't know what these bits are out of, who knows. Is that a 1973 Porsche 911 2.7 Carrera RS? Might not be quite. It has got a ducktail on it, so uh, I'll answer in the comment section below. Peugeot 306 Rally. It's a facelifted one. That's a 98 registration. Could be a 99 as well, of course. Yeah, 306 Rally. Does this have a six-speed gearbox in it? It does. Excellent, huh? I haven't forgotten absolutely everything, then. 
nice TR6 rather than a TR2, uh, TR, what was it called in? No, actually, I think we would put two like TR6, but they were like on a car just to be on the fuel injection then. Uh, 70, 70, 72, 73 plate. Another mini pickup. It's the second one. This is a bit earlier. This is a, an M, so 73, 74 registration. 1967 Triumph Herald 1200 Estate. 67 was January to July 67 only. Uh, old Ford, I don't know. 1940, I really be out. I don't know. Um, XJC Series 2. Quite a late one of these. 77, 78 plate. Is that a beige leather interior by any chance? Mm, I do like a nice beige leather interior with wood. This actually is uh, the Daimler version, as you can see from here. And this is the double six with fuel injection, which is absolute top of the line for this, uh, this shape. 1982, 83, Ford Capri Mark 3 1.6. I don't think this is a laser, I'm not sure what what to trim this says. It's only a four speed gearbox in this. Um, I don't know. Answers in the comment section below viewers. Those wheels were the ones that were fitted to a lot of the uh, five speed 2.8 injections. Ford Sierra RS Cosworth, I think these were made. Um, this is an RS500, I don't think it is. 86, 87, I think these were made. Yeah, it's RS Cosworth, it's not a 500. Uh, G Wagon, absolutely no idea what year this is. Who knows? I'm not sure. The Grand Edition says here. Uh, 992, sorry, 996 Porsche 911. Again, on a personal plate. It's a Carrera GT3. That's a 1999 registration. I suppose it could have been made about that time. Another 4.2 Jaguar E-Type Series 1, I think. Uh, so it'd be 67 if it's an F. Because by 60, I think they were sort of moving into the Series 1.5s. Look at that TVR just parking up. Willis Jeep. AC Cobra. Now, this is probably a replica because most of them are. Yeah, it looks a lot more modern than the mid 60s I think this one I think this is a replica don't know what type it is yeah Mark 4 another 1920s Bentley probably a 3 litre I wonder if this is a Vanden Plaat or a um, I don't know answers in the comments section view so I don't really know another TR6 Again, I think this is the fuel injection of British market car. Nineteen ninety nine. Nice full instrumentation from the Triumphs, of course. That's what we do like, viewers. Yeah, injection. I, d I don't know what year this is because it's a personal plate, but they were made between sixty nine and seventy six. Nineteen sixty seven Sunbeam Alpine. 1725, because it's a Series 5, because the last year in Maven was 67, so it can only be that if it's an F registration. Most agreeable. Most agreeable indeed. MGTD. Ooh, offers in a region of £25,000. Is that what they're worth these days, viewers? Maybe they are. 1985 to 86. Porsche 911 Carrera, a little well tail. It's not. It's not turbo. Those had a biggest uh, well tail thing on the back. A Morris Marina. This is a very nice example of one. Um, I think this is a Mark II. I'd like to say. Take a look at the back. That'll tell me for certain what it is. Yeah, I think so. This is a Mark. So it's about 78. It's not quite on the Mark III yet, but this, this is quite high end for a marina actually. 
more Figaro's, there's loads of those here today. Quite an early MX-5, is this a Unos or an MX-5? Oh, it's an auto, it must be a Unos, because they never sold the, they never sold the um, automatic uh, Mark 1 over here, I don't think. I've actually driven one of these Unos uh, automatics, I drove one actually last summer, uh, but it was a V Special version. This one looks V Special too. 1983 to 84 Porsche 928S. This one's another auto. I think those are the uh, correct wheels for these. This one's slightly earlier. If that's a, a, not a personal plate, that's a, uh, be an 80, 81 registration. Those seats for yours. Remarkable, this one's a manual. So Shambuck shuffle away over here to have a look at some Lotus Elise sets. Series 1, I believe. Yeah, there is one, one here. I wonder if it's just a standard 120 horsepower K series in here. Good old Cavalier Mark III or Boss of Course of B. Storks. I think just a standard release, this one. Uh, very shiny box to here, PDK gear box. Another Mark I Elise. This is quite a late one on a W because I think they changed to the Mark II the same year, so we had 2000. Here's that land sprint we saw in the previous part. I do apologize for the wind noise, by the way, viewers. Just where it goes on the channel. Yeah, the sprints were pretty late on in, uh, in the lifetime of, um, of the Elan. Tiny little car. Lots and lots and lots of Figaro's. Lots and lots and lots of them. So 1991 only for these, but most of them seem to have ended up in this country now. I think the four standard colours were this one, this one, this one, and I forget what the other one is, so here it is. is it, yeah, there's, there's a green and then there's sort of a, a, a pale one, so you see the green one there, needs to be the sort of pale one. So that, a lot of figures would be painted different colours, but uh, these seem to be all the standard ones so far. So only on H or J plates. Some of them have the parking ones, like this one does. All based on the platform, the K10 Micro, like this, uh, this and, uh, is this a PAL or a B1? I need a cake style that the cake's run out. It's a shame, the cake is a lie. If you get that reference, then you can award yourself 10 points. There we are, lots and lots and lots of figures. Now the engine in them was the one litre that the uh, standard cater Micros had, but it was turbocharged, so it was a little bit faster. Still not the fastest thing, I and mean, they are just a three speed, but you know, there we go. Yeah, it was a PAL, I was right, it's not a B1. Again, cater Micros chassis. So this is an S cargo with a <laughs> Audi five valve turbo. <laughs> It's a, it's, a real, it's a real strange ain't it, this what? But then again, these are standard. I think had a Nissan Sunny engine from 1.6 something. So it's got all the sort of, sort of dash in it from, from an Audi as well. What's well, been modified slightly. That's crazy. Get there a bit faster on this than the standard uh, ones of these then. Yeah, still going that and I'm just like, it was called the Pi K cars, the um, ones that were based on the platform from the, uh, the K10s. So there we go. More sort of Lotus goodness here, 2000 Elise. Don't know what version this is. 
It's not a standard one. Been in Colville, round the, down the road, uh, sort of in Horsley, I think it is actually. We've got a Colville based, still selling Lotus to this day. GT86, original generation box chef in 2002. Very proudly still wearing the uh, front head lamps, which are from the island of the time. Nice XK8. Very nice. Nice F-Type. I hmm, wonder if that was originally registered by Jackie Orlando himself, often the ones on the on the oak plates are. Oh, an Elvis. That's either a TE or TF21, I forget. So it's a 64. Body, of course, by Graber of Switzerland. 993, 911 here. I don't know what year exactly this is, but I imagine it's, it's on an R registration on a personal plate, and actually they kind of finished production around that time, around 97, 98, so probably a late 993. 991. Ooh, a Lotus Sedan, a front-wheel drive one would be a Zuzu engine. Uh, say 90, 94, 95 plate on an M. It's probably not a turbo because most of them weren't. No, it's not a standard one. Ooh, late XJS convertible. And it's got a beige leather interior with wood. Mm, I do like a nice beige leather interior, viewers. That is very nice. I wonder if this is a celebration. Well, it's played from 95, 96 only. It could be. Because they finished production in 96, so... Possibly. That Astra F van sounds a bit loud. It doesn't say. If you've got parking sensors though, you probably a good idea in a car like that. Ooh, a Peugeot 306 Pedavarina Cabrio. I haven't seen one of these in a while for years. This is a really early one as well. That's not bad. A DP Reading plate, and actually it's a, it's a slough which is near Reading, so Probably original dealer plates. Look at this beautiful Alvis. That's that's very special. That it's very very special indeed. Another Austin Healy, three thousand, sixty four. This one. What mark does that make it? Mark three. Ooh. Is that an Alfa Romeo Giulio Quadrifoglio? Hmm. Could be. Many, many, many Abarth 595s and 695s. Lots and lots and lots of them. Lots and lots and lots of Abarths. The thing is, viewers, I, I think most of you are here for sort of classics. Now, I, I have got actually one of these like this coming up a channel and a Fiat 124, but I, I'm, I'm sort of here for the older cars personally, so we'll just uh, skip over it. I don't know the difference between most of them anyway, I'm afraid. I'm really sorry about that. I know some of you are sort of really into stuff, but I just don't know enough about them to be able to really say anything very meaningful. So, 2018. Um, Abarth 124 Spider. Very, very rare car, I suppose. They didn't make very many. And based on the contemporary uh, MX5, the MX5 is still going. The Fiat 124 and the, and the Abarth 124 are not. Well, at least in this country, anyway. I'm not sure if they're still making for other markets. So, many, many, many MGFs and TFs. MG Car Club and MGF Register. I have driven actually two. MGTFs and an MGF, and they're great. So this one's a 2005, I don't know if that's an original plate or not, but they didn't make any more than the continuation cars after 2005, so it might well be. That's very nice, a 160, a very nice colour. A couple of other ones there, that's a, I don't know, personal plate. Oh, look, someone's actually doing professional coverage, unlike, unlike me, we're just shuffling my way around and trying to fall over. 
Ooh, this is 2006. Now, some MG Rover cars were sold in 2006 because there were just absolutely loads left over after the bankruptcy. Obviously, literally, um, uh, let's just take it 17 years ago this month. Another 2006 one. Now this one, what is what is this? Uh, this said T here. I don't think this is the V8. Normally they stay on the front of them. Yeah, it's a 190 plus with the with the KV6. I actually have driven a 190 plus. It was ZTT. There we go, ZT190. In the early days of my channel, it was a to pre facelift uh, Torah, of course, being a ZTT. Hmm. This looks pretty high specification, this one. Those leather seats. More MGTF goodness with a little friend in the back there. This is an F though, so is this. So this, presumably the Fs and TFs are separated themselves out. It's a 2000. The, um, the MGTF that I've driven is, a, is, a, is a, a late one. It was a 2001, it was a freestyle. This, however, is an early one. This is on an N, so I think the first ones were on, on an N. So 95, 96 plate. I think they came out in 95. The main difference, of course, between the two is that it's the front end. Some of them just did, uh, did come with passenger airbag, like some TFs did, but it wasn't in any way standard. Hmm. That I think is a TF. So they're not completely separated out. Ooh, someone's brought their child along in the, in the front. That's very nice. Yes, mmm, Tracy Julia. Right, another TF. The, the 135 that I drove in 2000 was um, this colour, actually. It's called Trophy Blue. This is the step speed, so it's not a 135. It'd be a 120, I think, actually, they're called them. Very good. And TT Performance in Surrey, so a local company. Very nice. As I've said before, uh, before viewers, I'm not really here to see kind of modern stuff and supercars. I mean, this, uh, I think this is a Vanquish. That's it's kind of classic now. But, uh, you know, this McLaren here is not really what... I'm after if I come to a classic gathering, so we'll just uh, skip past a lot of this sort of stuff. Let's make sure that when I was told, I said it was a vanquish, it was. I think this is another vanquish. Yeah, it's a vanquish. Sort of similar to the one used in Dying Ever Day, although we don't talk about that film on this channel, viewers. Not good. Ah, oh, this is more like it. Oh, yes. DB7, 97, 98 on an R. With a beige, leather and green interior. And a manual too. Do you like a nice beige leather interior? Along with, I think it was a Mazda interior uh, door handles to go with the Mazda rear lights. Those are off a uh, 323F, I believe. That's very nice for you. So that's the sort of thing we like. Past these other one one's over that that does have a base left interior so that might be worthy of your consideration db6 mm. 1967 only on that plate very nice very very nice indeed and the, and the bonus is 1979 wow <laughs> tasty right oh another db7 yes this one also got green and beige leather interior yes it does mm. I don't mind if I do viewers very 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 nice indeed that's better isn't it like the tasty treats like that don't we uh, Austin of England uh, I think this is an A35 uh, yes it is with a larger rear window 57 excellent it's good to see I've got that sort of things right. Uh, mini lights, of course, like many classic cars, look greater than mini lights, so do these. Series 2 E-Type, I believe. 
1969-70 on an H. Yeah, especially it's a 4.2, so it must be. 2001 Lotus Exige. Uh, I'll have to come back to that in a second, viewers. I forget what that is. Lloyd's Motor Club. I want to join Lloyd's Motor Club because that is my surname. There's Ferraris from it too. We'll skip past a lot of kind of this stuff because, again, you know, it's just a little bit too new. This uh, clown shoe Z3 Coupe, though, that might be worthy of consideration. This, if it isn't an M, it might not actually be because although the Z3 M's were the only ones actually uh, sold in this country in this clown shoe body style, in other countries this was available with some of the lesser engines. So them steering wheel though, so that just might be a normal Z3 with just an M, M, uh, M bits in it. Uh, I'll skip over that M3 there. That Vanquish is very nice though because it has a light coloured interior. Is that a beige leather interior? I don't know viewers. Answer in the comments section below. And the Carmen gear, yes, definitely a classic. So, yeah, 60. 869 plate, right hand drive as well, that's pretty impressive. A lot of these are American imports, so they're on the left hand drive. And it's got a 1.5 engine. I suppose a couple of years, this Mercedes and that Audi will almost be, but Audi's probably almost there. This A4 convertible, but not quite. This Elise, though, I think so. Again, we've got these uh, Metro. And Rover 100 door mirrors, and those bits I think offer a course of B or a Cavalier Mark III, those stalks. This is on a 97 and 98 plate on an R. Oh, an MG RV8? <laughs> yes, please, viewers. That's more like it. Yes, yes, yes. Dark green with a beige leather interior. <laughs> Wood. I do like a nice beige leather interior. I thought though that you got electric windows in these. Clearly it was not standard. Metro window winders of course though. Yeah, so 95 uh, plate or thereabouts, actually 94, 95. At uh, Bentley Continental's leaving. Ah, quite a late 928 this one, 928 GT. So that's uh, 92, 93 play. I think they finished production. Is it 94? We finished production on 95. I forget. But yes, yeah, so there we go. Still very, very nice indeed. I can't remember what this is. It is a. Is this for David Brown Speedback or something? No, it's a B. A Vantera. Yeah. So it's it's actually a modern car. It just kind of looks a bit like I don't know something like an old Aston Martin or something like that. Yes, very. Late Porsche 356, this one. I think this is 356B or C. I don't honestly know exactly. It's a C, so it'd be a 356C. About 1963 or something like that. Ooh, Bristol. Proper gentleman's car. Yes, please, viewers. I do like a nice Bristol. I think this is a 411. Yes. 411 Series 3. Very nice. I don't know what year this is. 72. And in the wing, I forget which side it is. It's not this side. I think the other side, there will be a compartment to sort of take off and put the, your luggage in or something. Well, it used to be anyway. A uh, nice case from 7. Ooh. So this Jaguar XK, it does look very nice. It's 2001. It's sea frost in name of colour. And the interior, I'm not sure. Is that a bit of a bay leather interior? Very nice series. I do like that. Porsche 912. Wow. It's the sort of rarer, lesser powered version of the early 911. This one's a right hand drive as well. Very rare. Wow, that's impressive, viewers. Dog leg gearbox and the smell of unburnt fuel. Wow, Ooh, this Mercedes that does look rather nice, viewers. I 
forget, uh, something like a 280 SE. So it's a 1964, this car. Yeah, it's a 220 SE, so it's a little bit earlier than I thought. Probably an American spec, it's got an extra fog light. Little Morgan three wheel, that's probably a modern one. And uh, is that a Testarossa view? Yes, and of course it has. <laughs> I'm so sorry, viewers. I think I've run out of space uh, on my on my phone, so I have to transfer to the other phone. It's what I keep to these days. So uh, yes, Ferrari Testarossa it is. They're both there for interior. So uh, thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching this uh, third part of a slightly shambolic shuffle around the postponed. New Year's Day Classic Gathering at uh, Brooklyn. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video and uh, leave a comment below. And uh, we'll continue on this phone on part four.